What if there are other universes, just like our own, with an infinite number of Earths, with uncountable other Wee. versions of you? You may have heard the theory that there are multiple possible universes where you exist in each one, but live a different life and make different decisions, resulting in a totally different outcome. We know this as the multiverse. So, what exactly is multiverse? Will it be possible to open a portal to another Earth? Or is it already within our reach? Have there been incidents of people already traveling from an alternate Earth to ours? Have scientists been able to find any evidence for parallel universes? The universe that we know in existence all began with the Big Bang which expanded at an unimaginable speed in a growth spurt called inflation. For as long as there has been the universe, space has been expanding ever since it came into existence 13.8 billion years ago and it's continuing to expand even now. As far as we know, our universe is a single expanding blob of space-time speckled with trillions of galaxies that now stretch as far as 93 billion light years from edge to edge. But beyond this limit, there are things we cannot see that could be something much more or maybe just an infinite expand of nothingness. Our universe may be really big, but also finite, or it could be infinitely big. Both of these options are only possibilities just yet. However, if the universe is infinitely big, there are only a certain number of ways that matter can arrange itself within that universe and eventually it has to repeat and arrange itself in similar ways. If the universe is without an end, then it might just be home to parallel universes. If that sounded confusing, think of a deck of cards. If you shuffle the deck of cards, there are only so many orderings that can happen. And if you shuffle it enough times, the order of cards has to repeat with an infinite universe and only a finite number of complexions of matter, the way matter arranges itself will also have to repeat. With that said, if a matter does really exist, then there would also be infinite versions of you, other alternate versions of you, who may be doing the same thing you are doing right now, but some might be wearing different clothes and have probably made vastly different life choices. You might drive a Mercedes in this world, but drive a Ferrari or a BMW in another. There could be one Earth where there was no asteroid to end the life of the dinosaurs, and they never went extinct. And so on, there are uncountable other possibilities. The theory of parallel universes says that the universe isn't just one but there are multiple universes or multiverses that exist. Our universe is one of the universes that coexist within the multiverse with several other universes. A multiverse is a group of multiple universes together. These universes occupy the same place in space and live in the same time, but they vibrate at a different frequency and therefore we can't see other universes. Also, the laws of physics of these parallel universes are completely different from ours. There can be another where the law of gravity is haywire, one where energy behaves differently, etc. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. In physics, the word multiverse normally refers to one of two distinct and largely unrelated proposed physical models for the universe, none of which have been tested or confirmed with experiments. Multiverse model number one is bubble universal. This is the most straightforward kind of multiverse. The basic idea is that perhaps there are parts of the universe that are so far away that we will never see them or inside black holes, so similarly we will never see them. Other universes can also come into existence from a theory called eternal inflation. We already talked about how the universe we are in expanded rapidly after the Big Bang and inflated somewhat like a balloon. In the eternal inflation theory, the multiverse or space as a whole 
is stretching and will continue to do so forever, but some regions of space stop stretching and form distinct bubbles giving rise to various isolated bubble universes. That said, our universe could just be a separate bubble in the vast sea of space that contains other bubble universes like ours. Multiverse model number 2 The Many Worlds Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics This theory makes an attempt at explanation by proposing that every possible timeline for the universe is real and every possible combination of particles and every kind of scenario that can happen does happen somewhere out there while each time a new decision gives birth to infinite other possibilities and therefore dividing into multiple other universes. So, is it possible that a multiverse could exist? Although the multiverse is still theoretical and yet to be officially proven, there are several stories and legends of incidents so seemingly inexplicable that there are suggestions of a glitch in the multiverse. The first and supposedly the most popular one is the story of Jofar or Joseph Warren, which we would have to go a century back to the news of a case first published in the UK in 1851. Reports centered on the small German village of Frankfurt on the Oder, where a man was reportedly discovered wandering around in a confused haze. When questioned by the local authorities, he allegedly managed to explain that his name was Jofar or Joseph Warren, and that he had no idea where he was. He claimed that he had come to Germany in search for his brother, who had previously been shipwrecked in an unknown location. The man insisted that he was originally from a country called Lazariato, a place that no one else had heard of because it didn't exist. Warren is said to have explained that Luxaria was found in a continent-like region of Earth called Sakria. But again, no one had heard of the place. What's more, he reportedly continued to reveal more about his home world, explaining that the Earth he knew was divided into five main regions, which are Sakria, Aflar, Oslar, Aslar, and Euplar. It's said that the authorities ultimately sent him to Berlin for further questioning, with some retelling claiming that he escaped on his way there, never to be heard from again. Unlike the man from Toretto, there is little by way of an official record of Warren's appearance and especially of his alleged disappearance at the end of the story. So is this simply another hoax, or was there really an error in the multiverse once more? Here comes the interesting part. Is it possible for you to travel to an alternate Earth? Could we open a portal to a parallel Earth? It is possible, but traveling between them won't be so easy. All you need is an 85 megawatt nuclear reactor capable of firing billions of neutrons on common. It all comes from a theory that says if you beam neutrons on a wall, none should pass through. If some do manage to make it to the other side, it would mean that they have transformed into mirror images of themselves as they went through the wall between the two worlds. How do we even know all of that? Well, that is one odd thing about neutrons. In particle beams, on average, they last for 14 minutes and 48 seconds before they decay into protons. But if you place neutrons in a lab bottle, they will break down 10 seconds faster. It's not something we can explain with physics yet. Neutrons are all the same. There shouldn't be any 10 second difference in their lifespan. Regardless of where they are stored, could it be possible that the neutron experiments didn't go as expected because the physics accidentally opened a portal to a mirror world? That would be the first evidence that a mirror universe exists right next to our home. A mirror world with mirror atoms, maybe even a mirrored earth. An entire mirrored world almost totally cut off from us. Could you meet another version of yourself in that mirror world? Now it gets a little complicated. Even though particle configurations can repeat themselves, the odds of finding a portal to a parallel universe that's exactly like our own is close to zero. Think about it. There are Novembigintillion particles in our universe. 
that's the number of one followed by 90 zeros. Before the particle can arrange themselves in an identical ways to create a parallel universe, exactly like ours, they will arrange themselves in other ways and create a totally different universe in which the life forms itself may not exist. And these universes will also have completely different laws of physics. And between the vast space of other unlike and non-identical universes, finding and opening a portal to an alternate universe precisely like ours with more or less the same laws of physics is as good as nil. But it's hard to know for sure because nobody has detected a single mirror particle yet. Maybe we shouldn't be looking for the answers in the lab. Perhaps we should look in space itself.